In this short training nugget, I'm going to cover the on effect within X lights and the icon to depict that is here. So I'll drag it onto my timeline and I'm going to put it onto the all spinners pro uh, prop. So we can see here, all of the spinners are now lit up in white because that is the color in the palette here that we've selected. Obviously we can now change the colors in the palette to the color that we desire. But as you will notice, if we select multiple colors, the only color that is noticed is this first one in the palette. So multiple colors do nothing. But I will come to a way that we can get around that in a moment. So now let's move on to the features within the on effect itself. So the first two are interrelated the start intensity and the end intensity. So what this is specifying is the intensity of the effect at this point and this point in the animation. So if we move this down to zero, we're saying we want it effectively off at this point and gradually getting brighter. And we see if we play the timeline, we see the effect gradually gets brighter over time. Obviously, you're not restricted to full on or off. You can actually specify different uh, effects. Now, I'm going to skip transparency at the moment and move on to cycle count because that is related to this start and end intensity because this will say how many times it transitions from this start and end. So, for instance, if I move it to five, we can see on the timeline itself, we've got five segments and you can see five transitions there. And if we play, it gets brighter, cuts off, brighter, cuts off, and it will do that for five cycles. I'll move that back to one and I'll move the intensity back up to 100%. So that's those three items covered. The next item here I'll cover is shimmer. And if we apply that, it actually flashes the on effect so you can see it does like a quite a nice flicker effect and if we zoom in we can see that on the timeline as well it's represented by this on and off type effect so let's turn the shimmer off and there's just this one item now that i've not covered which is the transparency now this becomes useful when we have multiple layers so what i'm going to do i'm going to drag a bar effect onto a lower layer of this prop and I'll put a few colors in there and I'll make it go from left to right, make it move a little bit. Now, when I put this effect underneath our on effect, as we would expect, this effect is completely obliterating this effect. The reason is, is because X lights renders this effect and then afterwards it renders this effect. And because this effect applies to all pixels, the lower pixels are obliterated. Okay, so now what we can do, we can reduce the transparency. And as you can see, as I reduce the transparency, more and more of the lower effect is allowed to shine through until I get up to 100% and the entire effect comes through. This can be useful for applying tints to effects. So if you've got an image and you want to provide a yellow tint or a red tint, you can do that. And that will become more apparent if I actually put a white effect here. You can see I can apply a red tint to that particular white effect. So you can see it's, you know, I can make it slightly pink. But you imagine this on an image as well. It could be, it can be quite an effective tool. Let's move those out of the way. So now we've covered the transparency. So I'll move it back to the full opacity again. Now I said that I wanted to show you that we can actually use multiple colors. You know, we're not limited to a single color. However, we need to actually use a gradient for this. So we do this by right clicking on any of these color icons. So if I right click on this one, you can see it currently it's showing entire blue and I can build my own gradient up, but there's some pre-done ones here. So I'll just 
for demonstration, choose one of these. And this gradient is going to go from red to yellow to green to cyan to blue to magenta. So I select that one, untick this one, and tick this. Now, if we look at a little icon here, it's showing the picture of a clock. And what this is saying is this color is going to evolve or transform over time. So as we play on the timeline, it transitions from color to color over that time period. Okay, but we have different options. If we now click the button, it's now fixed in time. So if we play, it stays static. But what is happening is that color is transitioning from left to right. Top to bottom. Right to left. And bottom to top. So you can get some quite nice effects by using this gradient tool as well. Okay, so I hope that uh, covers the majority of the functionality of the on effect within XLive.